Welcome to GKE Essentials, where we explore basics and useful tips for getting up and running with GKE. Kubernetes is the top container orchestration platform for managing containerized apps, including web services and batch workloads like data processing, machine learning, and scientific simulations. In this video, we'll explore why GKE is the perfect choice for your batch platform. Batch workloads consists of multiple tasks that run automatically and finish without user input. These tasks, or jobs, get processed in a queue according to their arrival, ensuring efficient resource usage and minimizing idle time for the batch processing platform. Typically, in a batch processing platform, users submit jobs with the program, data, and requirements like the CPU and hardware accelerator specs. After receiving a confirmation and unique ID for tracking, users are notified when the job is done and provided with the outputs or results. GKE has what it takes to be the platform for your batch processing needs. Let's explore GKE batch enabling features. Batch workloads often has significant hardware requirements. GKE supports a variety of compute engine VM series to fulfill a variety of hardware needs, including cost-optimized, balanced, scale-out, memory, compute, and accelerator-optimized options. These VMs are available with various CPU platforms, like ARM, Intel, and AMD processors. For special compute-intensive workloads, like video processing or AIML, GKE also supports hardware accelerators like GPUs and TPUs. TPUs are Google's custom ASICs, which can help you speed up machine learning tasks. As we have explored in the past videos, GK supports massive scale with up to 15,000 node clusters, allowing customers like Bayer Corp Science to process 15 billion genotypes per hour. GK uses a concept of node pools to organize hardware, which caters to various workload needs, while the cluster autoscaler adjusts node count in each pool automatically based on demand. Simply set the minimum and maximum pool size, and GK handles the rest. Using the optimized utilization profile, unused nodes are removed faster, helping control costs. GKE also has features to maximize your workload's availability. For example, regional clusters provide a highly available control plane and node pools replicated across multiple zones. Node auto repair ensures healthy running nodes by initiating repairs after consecutive failed L checks. Node auto upgrades keep your cluster nodes up to date with the control plane version during updates. Make sure to check out our video on GK upgrades to learn more about the upgrades features and controls that allow you to maximize your uptime across cluster upgrades. Need to share your clusters with multiple users? No problem. GK supports multi-tenancy, allowing you to separate tenants and their resources into different namespaces. You can enforce policies for tenant isolation, set quotas, and even track cost allocations. Batch workloads are often resource-intensive workloads. GK enables you to control resource consumption by assigning resource quotas per tenant and processing jobs in order with queue, a Kubernetes-native job queuing system designed for batch workloads. Queue manages quotas and job admission, deciding when jobs should wait, start, or be preempted. Queue introduces concepts like cluster queue, governing resource pools, and resource flavors, representing resource variations. Cluster queues can borrow unused quotas from cohorts, and resource flavors associate variations with nodes through labels and taints. You can find resources to learn more about queue in the description below. GK uses Compute Engine Persistent Disk for durable storage through persistent volumes, with regional mode offering access to the same storage across zones. Local SSDs serve as high-performance scratch space for batch workloads. Reduce costs and optimize compute instances with Hyperdisk throughput persistent disk family allowing dynamic throughput and capacity provisioning. With GKE, provision throughput is met on any scheduled node. Batch workloads can utilize Google Cloud Storage, Cloud File Store, PubSub, and BigQuery for data management and communication. GKE's compact placement policy places nodes in closer proximity for low-latency, high-performance workloads. Customize node configuration and tuning parameters for your workloads like TCP socket buffer values. Improve latency-sensitive workloads with busy polling and network profiles. Increase network bandwidth using Google Virtual NIC for high-performance applications. A useful tool for managing costs for more flexible batch workloads is Spot VMs. These preemptible VMs offer lower prices without guaranteed availability. 
With GPU time sharing and multi-instance GPU, you can get more out of your GPU nodes in GKE. Time sharing is a GKE feature that lets multiple containers share a single physical GPU attached to a node. Multi-instance GPUs allow you to partition a single NVIDIA A100 GPU in up to seven slices. Each slice can be allocated to one container on the node independently. Predictable workloads can benefit from Google Cloud reservations and committed use discounts, yielding significant savings. For example, you could create a node pool with reserved instances and prioritize its usage. Then set up additional on-demand and spot VM node pools to handle overflow jobs at a lower cost as needed. GKE also offers image streaming, allowing workloads to initialize without waiting for the entire container image to download, improving initialization times and cost efficiency. Monitoring is important for any workload. GK integrates with Google Cloud Operation Suite, enabling control over logs and metrics sent to cloud logging and cloud monitoring. This provides batch users with detailed, up-to-date information on cluster and batch workloads. GK supports managed service for Prometheus, offering hassle-free metrics collection with Google's Monarch Time Series database. Managed collection simplifies Prometheus server management. Check out our video on managed service for Prometheus, linked in the description below, to learn more. The Cloud Operations Suite also features Cloud Operations Monitoring dashboards, giving an overview of GK cluster and resource utilization, with drill down and filtering options. Not only do these monitors enable you to see what's going on in your cluster at a variety of useful levels, they also help you meet the goals by providing tooling to manage service level objectives for applications running on the cluster. In this video, you have learned about GK features for compute, storage, monitoring, and more that make GK a scalable, resilient, secure, and cost-effective platform for running batch workloads. With GK at your fingertips, we can't wait to see what awesome ML applications or scientific discoveries you can make. To get started with GKE, you can check out the Google Cloud Console by visiting the links below. The description also has links to more details on many of the features we covered today. And stay tuned for our next videos where we dive deeper into GK topics.